Hi everyone, today's video I'm going to show you how to change the camshaft and the crankshaft sensors on the Mark III Mondo. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks and give a thumbs up. If you're new, consider hitting that subscribe button and also giving a thumbs up, it helps. So, I'm going to crack on with this, show you how it's done, and I'll come back to you after the video. As always, when working with electrical, under your 10mm negative and disconnect it. So to replace the camshaft sensor, which is this one here, found on the front block, bank one of your car, it's an 8mm screw and just unclip it. So I'm going to get my 8mm. So I've got the 8mm, I put it on it, loosen it off, it shouldn't take a lot because he's ain't held in a great deal, let's try. Let out once it's out and free, you disconnect it. Get your new one or your second hand one, whatever you've opted for, they're cheap enough. Click it back on. Like so For the pop, there's a little pop there, and then do it back up, and that's your crank, uh, yeah, and that's your camshaft sensor. As always, with all Snip it up. Okay, so there's your crank. Yeah, this is your crankshaft sensor. It's an 8mm bolt, same as the camshaft, exactly the same. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this. Pushing that wire, just push it out of the way, take it over the back so you can get to your 8mm here. Alright, so you've got your 8mm. Just sort my ratchet out. See if I can get a ratchet on it. Nope. So get 8mm spanner. And it's very fiddly, but you can do it. Oh. Once you've cracked it off, should be a bit easier, you should be able to get your hand up here. Nope, so do a couple more turns. I 
give a couple more spins. Let's see if I can do it with my hand now. Yep. Okay, so I can do this with my finger. See it's undoing. I'm trying to keep my fingers that way so you can see. See? Alright, I've got it out. Put that aside. And like the last top one, give it a bit of a wall. It should come out. This is why I leave the wires on it. There you go. See that? It's popped out. I leave the wires on it for that reason. So you can help the wires. Now get it out. And there's the old one. As you can see from here, it's between the pulley tensioner and the the um, aircon uh, pump. It's just there. Let's get the new one and put it in. So here's a new one. If either of these sensors fail, it will stop your engine starting. Get it plugged back in and check it. See, got it in. I'm trying to do it up by finger, I ain't gonna happen. It's just too fiddly. So I'm gonna. Try and get this little eight mil socket on it, just to see if I can get any. Right, that's sitting on there. Look, so get me over hand. I'll do it up. Okay, so that's done up as much as I can with this. So, where's my little eight mil? So with my 8mm spanner, I just want, you just want to give it a few more little turns. back on and that's that one changed gotta be honest you can see these ain't brand new I've had these sent to me from a breakers that's done some lower mileage than this and the idea is to get me out of a sticky wicket until some brand new ones turn up but I thought, do you know what, I'm taking the old ones out, replacing them with these ones. So I might as well show you. Okay. Right, next thing to do is all wired up. Just test it, make sure it all starts.
So, hope you found that video useful guys. Um, it's a couple of sensors um, to replace, easy job to do. Um, the only downside is you've got to jack the car up, take the driver's side wheel off to get to that cam, uh, the crankshaft sensor. Um, these sensors are a pain. Um, if they go wrong, they can cause a lot of problems. Um, not always easy to diagnose. Oh, luckily, last week, <laughs> I broke down, um, not in the best place, right in the middle of a roundabout, and um, I got towed out of the way by a friend of mine, and, um, and I had to get the recovery vehicles to come and bail me out to get me home. Uh, whilst I had them do that, I said to them, can you plug their machine in to just give me a quick diagnostic check, because it's a better detail than my own one I've got, and they did, and they came up with a uh, camshaft sensor and possible uh, crankshaft. So I've just changed them both out, just for the sake of it. Uh, but if you recognise any of the symptoms that can be linked to them, you could get rough idling, where it erratically idles high revs, uh, which could be the throttle sensor. Um, it hesitates to start, it lacks power on acceleration, um, loads of things. Uh, so. The worst case scenario, the engine could just stop running. Uh, if you if you're driving when that happens, it can be scary. If you're doing seventy miles an hour out the motorway and they decide they're going to fail and collapse on you, you're buggered. Well, you're not buggered, but it's not going to make for a pleasant experience. Um, you know, you'll lose all your past steering, your brakes will go. It'd just be like driving a car twenty years ago. So, so I'll keep checking because making sure it's all okay um but sorry for rambling on a bit on this one but i thought you know what i've changed these sensors i'm going to explain to you what happened why it happened what the symptoms could be for this problem um and hopefully you can learn something from this so if you change one sensor you must well change them both that's what i've done right a serious note now um Guys, I know you all appreciate the help I give you, and I didn't want to do this, I really didn't, but what I've done is a few people have said, you know, they'd be willing to donate to the channel to help with it, like buy us a cup of coffee. So what I've done is I've set up a Patreon where you can do that, like minimum a couple of quid, uh, just to buy us a cup of coffee if that's what you want to do. There's no pressure there, because um, a few guys have said, uh, you know, I'd like to buy you a coffee, and stuff like that you know they'd happily buy us a coffee for the help because i bailed them out so what i've done is just to let you know guys there is a patron there the link is in the description where you can donate a couple of quid a month um towards it but everything you donate will go back into giving you better videos and it will buy me a cup of coffee so you don't got to feel threatened you ain't got to do it um so i don't like doing it but um i just thought well it shows your appreciation you guys some of you guys keep asking so i'm just going to put it out there there's a patron there pledge a couple of quid a month if you wish you don't have to these videos will still happen uh, regardless the below in is in the description is the links to the parts i paid about 30 40 quid for the two sensors and um yeah you do it yourself a couple of hours uh, save yourself a hell of a lot of money so and that's how you change your camshaft and your crankshaft sensors uh, if you like the videos hit the subscribe button give us a thumbs up if you're new consider subscribing and giving the thumbs up also so cheers for watching